refilling our hand, getting armor, equipping a weapon. Seems pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah, don't like any of these. Oh my gosh. Way too late game. And with Core Crown Elite, I hope to draw Core Crown Elite with my Galakrond. Oh my gosh. Whoa, hello. We just drew the Galakrond. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> Should craft it in golden? No. I need to conserve my dust. Oh shit. We are facing. We are facing um, Pirate Warrior. Whoo! Oh boy. All right, next time we'll probably play Snip Snap. Uh, we could also Awaken. Give us plus three attacks. We'll have four attack for something next turn. Okay. I might actually Awaken now. <laughs> uh, so we can kill this thing. Because uh, if I just Snip Snap... It'll probably trade into there, maybe trade into there. That al that also is a good Awaken, but it Awaken kind of uh, is awkward for our, our turn next turn then. Let's just do it now. Okay, so we've invoked twice. We need to invoke again. We need to invoke what? One more time, though. Uh, I want to try hand lock now so bad. <laughs> yes, with Vuldris. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we will be trying one with Vuldris uh, later on. All right. Wait, wait, wait. So okay. So what if I Taskmaster Red Band Wasp that trades into there? I think I just Ritual Chopper. So I can clear this thing. Invoke Galakrond. Then throw it on the wasp. Um, hmm. I don't necessarily need to kill this now. Eh, let's do it anyways. <laughs> if we don't hit and he's able to like buff up this pirate somehow, then he can make me or he can maybe get like a favorable trade into this thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can kill this thing pretty easily. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Next turn, I do want a double snip snap. So I'll probably turn him rover, taskmaster. Let's see. So this goes into there. Yeah, so that happens. That happens, that happens, that happens. Cool. So he, this guy doesn't trade into here now. And I believe this Blood Sail Corsair... Oh, oh no, he hasn't played his generated pirate yet. Okay. Yeah, and next turn we can double Snip Snap into turn 7, then we can Galakrond. All right. Uh, yeah, he equips a destroyed weapon. Yeah, exactly, yep. Um, What is that? Loot Pillager or something like that? The pirate that does that? Something like that. Oh, Devoted Maniac, though. So we get to invoke him again before next turn. Ooh, it's so tempting. I think I do actually want to do this. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, is he fully upgraded? He is. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? All right, so we get to hit something for three. What are we hitting? Probably this, 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 this 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 yeah yep so this hits there that hits there we clear this minion with her face but this minion trades there and then we get armor oh yeah we're doing we're doing fine we're doing fine next turn we get to refill our hand with a bunch of huge minions and we get a 5-2 weapon which then we can trade into there oh man this is so good <laughs> 
This is so good. Oh no, we drew one of the chargers that we like to draw with the Galakrond. But, I mean, this is still a pretty good play. No matter what we draw. Okay, Taskmaster, Temple, Town Crier, and Town Crier. Oh, <laughs> well, hmm. I still can't complain with this play though. Refilling our hand, getting armor, equipping a weapon. Seems pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Dragon Bane is a good card. I agree, Zeta. I think a lot of people are sleeping on it. I think it is a good card too. I think I might actually trade here. All right, so this is a nine mana play to be doing Taskmaster onto the Corcoran Elite, making it, what, six attack, and then I double it with the Bloodsworn Mercenary for 12 attack. That seems pretty good. Let's see, as far as rushers, we only have one rusher in our deck, which is the Devoted Maniac. Um, so these Town Criers are not gonna get that much value. Um, I just like putting it on a one mana five six though. Seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this play seems to be okay. I guess seems to be all right. I <laughs> I was kind of saving Cruel Taskmaster for like this guy with like a Bloodsworn Mercenary next turn but I think this will be fine. If this Corcron lives, I think we'll just win. Yep. I think we got him, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we definitely have it. And now we copy it, and the copy gets charged. <laughs> and now we give even more attack with our Galakrons. Okay. Okay, we gotta win with the Galakrond. We gotta make that the final hit. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, wait. I love his emotes too. His emotes are so cool. All right, so we got, we got the Ritual Chopper. Um, I don't think we need the Cruel Taskmaster. I'd rather have other one, twos, and threes besides him. Ah, another Ritual Chopper. Okay, okay. Let's see if we can draw into our Galakrond. Oh my gosh, we actually got uh, Kronks. Okay. <laughs> Sets up a nice Snip Snap. Yeah, there you go. Yep, Snip Snap onto six. That's true. That's very true. Um, I think I like the Temple Berserker here over the Ritual Chopper. Because this guy can trade into one of his spring paws. Uh, I think this guy might be playing Highlander. I mean, a lot of a lot of decks are. Or I would imagine a lot of hunters are Highlander. Okay, so you can actually clear this now. Nice, 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 nice. I'm just gonna go face. <laughs> just go face. That's four damage to his face. We still have a weapon left over to maybe clear one of these uh, little locusts. Then we can go face with this Corcoran Elite next turn and then go face on turn five with this. Hunter doesn't have that much healing, so that's pretty good for us. Oh, interesting. Romkahan Wild Tamer. That's a card you don't really see too much of. Cool. Um, I guess I could go, yeah, no, let's just do this. And then we could trade here, I suppose. So that way he doesn't trade that Locust into there. Hit him, hit this guy with his face, and then trade the other Locust into there. Now he has to kind of trade it into this 4-3, or maybe play a Marked Shot or something. Tracking? Okay, what's he looking for? You should have done that before he hit with his weapon. Uh, he just kind of knew he was going to play that anyways then, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. 
All right, next turn we can Kronks, and that'll draw us the Galakrond. And it also puts down a 6-6 on the board. Ooh, okay, we actually kind of have to hit that with our face now. Because that's dangerous. <laughs> that is very dangerous. Ooh, Town Crier draws us... What does it draw us? The Devoted Maniacs, I guess? Or the Red Band Wasp, okay. Actually, either one would be good. Or I could just put down a 6-6 six, six minion. I mean, for sure I'm doing this trade all the time, right? Hmm. 6-6. Six, six. I actually kind of like this. Okay, there's the wasp. That's okay, though, because we can... Uh, rampage it. Alright, I think this is better than playing a 6-6. Six, because six, we're not going to Galakrond on turn 7 anyways. So I think this is probably just better. Yeah, because now we have to deal with the 7-5, which is going to be kind of hard to do. Um, now I think probably just playing Kronks is good. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. Maybe I just Galakrond here, draw, drawing one minion. Because then we can Kronks next turn. Um, let's see. Because yeah, we do, we do equip the weapon as well with uh, Galakrond. Yeah, let's do this. Even though we only draw one minion with it, we still equip a 5-2 weapon, so it's like, um, it's kind of like an Arcanite Reaper that draws us a minion. And we also got to change our hero power to be more aggressive as well. I think I'm trading with this guy. Oh, yeah. See if it's Freezing Trap. Okay, it's not. Maybe I should have attacked with the Town Crier then if it was freezing. This guy's always going face. Oh, wait, we don't actually equip the 5-2 weapon because he's not fully upgraded. That only happens when he's fully upgraded. Ah, uh, see? All right, so this invokes him. All right, so I get four attack. Um, Can I Kronks plus... Okay. So next turn, I actually set up lethal here with Kronks plus hero power. So Kronks, I can do the five damage to your opponent's face. Heal five. And then I can... Okay, not anymore. <laughs> not since he rolled Misha. Dang it. Damn, and uh, Tyran, er, Tyranorish. Oh, yo, yo, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, how's it going, dude? Okay, I still think I Kronks here, right? Kronks always just has to be better. Oh my gosh, we have Leroy, we have Bloodsworn Mercenary. Ooh, man. Um, What if I just drop a 7-7? Seven, seven? Like, I don't want to, like, copy anything or whatnot, but... So this Ritual Chopper is four attack. All right, so I could Ritual Chopper, hit there, and then maybe Kronks. Yeah, that seems pretty good. The deal five damage to your opponent. Yep. You have five damage to all other minions. I think Decimation is probably good. All right, so I invoke him. I should have four attack, which then I can use to do this. All right, cool. And then we just win next turn, right? Because we can give our uh, hero plus three attack or we have Leroy for face damage. Yeah, all right, this is pretty good. Uh, pretty good. You seem like a cool guy, so I'm listening to your stream while I grind ladder. Hey, good to hear. And, uh, yeah, thank you. I like to think that I, I'm kind of cool, but sometimes my viewers, especially my mod, <coughs> reminds me that I'm not. <laughs> a colossal play. 